PeachyDragon.com. Happy creative stuff. Welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Creative Stuff. We've been working on Blossom's hair for a while. It is quite complicated. And I wanted to retain this sort of uh, the design of the 2D cartoon inside the 3D world. So I needed to do it in a very specific way. And this is, this is probably one of the more challenging parts of the model. And as you can see, my results are quite strange. I'll show you how I did that. You might not like the way I did it. You could also do it with polygon modeling and just start with one shape and then extrude parts. It might not be a bad approach either. I was just trying something different. So what I want to do is let's first get away from, well, we might need to just get the initial shape right to get the right proportions to the head and then I'm going to isolate everything. So what I want to do is I need the bottom to be round and I need if you had were looking at the top view, I need it to be around like that. So what I'm going to do is start off with a capsule under extended primitives. There is a capsule. I'm going to create roughly the right. Okay, I needed to click again before I deselected that because I need to create the height. I need to move that to roughly the right position. I want to definitely subdivide that more. That's very rough maybe not like 30 should be reasonable and we can increase the height segments as well there we go okay now look at the size of that is definitely we can look at the reference material to match it uh, okay i'm having trouble seeing what i'm doing here let's turn that up or okay it doesn't i don't know it's freaked out now let's just move it down like that Okay, so we've got, we wanted to start at about that height. Let's do that so I can cut off the top. I don't need the top to be round. And the bottom is already aligned. I can't see what I'm doing because I haven't applied our modeling material. Now for that, I'm also going to turn the opacity back down to 25 so that it's a bit translucent and I can see what I'm doing. Okay, now this capsule also we can turn, well, let's not turn down the radius. Let's just simply squish it this way. There we go. That looks like a good starting point. because It has all the, the basics we need. Okay, now from this point, what I did is I used booleans, just like we did in the previous video, to give it the specific shape. So I'm going to take this reference. Let's turn this back into a front view. I'm gonna take this reference plane and I'm going to use the gizmo to slide it over Gizmo is in a strange position. I don't know how that happened. I'm going to slide it over so that we've got her hair from the back. It's going to align that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is from the side view, we need to eliminate this part of the capsule. And I'm going to do this in a slightly crude way. I'm just going to select the splines and I'm simply going to draw it in. I can remember how I did that. Let's go click, click and drag. Click, click. And now we can pretty much cut off the top because we can't see that part, it's inside her head. So. Okay, and we close the spline. And we say, yes, we want to close it. We can add an extrude modifier on that. Extrude make it quite severe, quite long. Okay, maybe not, doesn't have to be that long, it just needs to be wider than the head itself. And I'm going to move that over here. So now we've got, well, let's fly around the 3D, otherwise it's very difficult to understand what we have. Okay, so now if we take these two shapes and I make that a Boolean, compound, Boolean, and I add this shape and I tell that shape to be subtracted. There we go. So we've got our first shape completed. Now let me deselect add operandi and just deselect this whole thing. So I can right click and convert it to an editable poly. I like to do this in between just to keep things simple. 
we'll see if I look at my 3D view, it doesn't look too bad for a start. We still need to cut off the sides. So now let's go back to our front view. Oh, I see I changed this gizmo and somehow it... Oh, it's just because we can't see what we're doing. I need to select the reference. Let's keep the head. Keep the head and the top part of the hair and the bow. I'm control, holding down control while I select this and then our reference planes. And then it's uh, isolate selection. Okay, and we can see what we're doing a bit better. Now I want to cut out those side areas. So I'm gonna do a very similar technique to what we did before. I'm gonna draw a line. And how about we just do both in one shot instead of mirroring or creating duplicates of things. Ah, that went wrong. Let's just restart that line. Make sure we don't have that problem again. Let's see, it's difficult. It's not quite the same. Backspace seems to work when you need to go back, but it's not quite the same as Photoshop. Click there, click there. Bring it out a little there. Click, click. Make that line round. Make that line round. It's maybe not perfect. And then this is the part we want to subtract. So I have to complete it towards the top. Yes. I'm going to add an extrude on this. Just like we did last time. We're adding an extrude modifier. Turn up the amount. Let's see in the top view, I think you can see what we're doing to cover the whole if you look at the 3d views the perspective it's going to look a bit silly until we subtract it then it'll make sense so i take that i go to my objects again uh, compound object boolean add operandi add this and we want to subtract that and what we end up with if i deselect add operandi and i convert to editable poly it should be pretty damn decent if you ask me convert to editable poly and if I fly around this I'm reasonably happy with that I'm not sure if it goes into the head enough at the back I don't think it does so we'll fix that quick let's use this view to fix that so what I would do is select those verts there let's turn on soft selection to make things a little bit more gentle use soft selection I'm just going to decide how much I want and bring it in a little bit. There we go. So we've got the basic shape. Let's exit isolation mode. End isolate. Now from the back, you'll see that these, she has this little ribbon there that we need to take into consideration. The heart, like I said, I just downloaded. The ribbon will just be a separate object later on. I think also because this let's turn up this opacity so you, you'll see because it has a bit a strange shape now you can still modify it manually using soft select and just moving things around which I did um, so you might want these corners to be slightly softer you can do that by let's see how I did it last time you can select that didn't work let's just go from the top let's push F3 it's just isolate selection to make this whole thing easier. Okay, if I look at the top and the side, I can pick that. And then maybe deselect ones on a specific side to make it easier. And then you can bring those in. You might need to subdivide some of these. I think this is a bit ridiculous at the moment. So let me select that. I'm going to turn off soft select because that'll be confusing. Select that. And then if we can select connect. It'll run some lines down there. Okay, that's definitely an improvement. And we can do the same on this side. Up to a point. Doesn't work for the whole thing, sadly. Okay, that looks decent. And then over here, oh, that didn't work. Let's push F3 so we can get a selection here on the inside. I think we have to turn off turn on ignore back facing if we don't want that to happen ignore back facing oh let me zoom in more there we go 
and select connect there. Now, as I said, this isn't the most professional way of modeling, but it works for what we need to do. You can, I'm, I'm going to use polygon modeling to do buttercups here, and then you can see the difference. Okay, so now if I wanted to bring in some of the corners and soften them a bit, we can just go and select the polys. Let's go select those. And now I can deselect the ones in the middle. Let's just make sure that's a top view. Deselect the ones in the middle, maybe deselect the ones on one side. Turn on soft select. Decide how gentle we want the slope of the soft select to be. And then I can just move those in a bit. Do the same on the other side. Just move those in a bit. Okay, I'm going to make it a bit more gentle, otherwise I'm affecting both sides. Something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be possible. Okay, there we go, let's end the isolation. I mean, I really don't think that looks bad. It looks very similar to what I ended up with in the final model. There we go, Blossom's here. Oh, okay, so let's sweetly do the hairband. We didn't discuss that. All you need to do is have geometry that matches that part of it. Let's hide, just turn this around. Okay, so, I still have something selected here, which is why I'm struggling. So in order to do that, we do need it to stick out the back of the head, which it currently isn't doing. So let's edit that. And just use soft select and move this out a little bit just to see maybe roughly there is where we need it. Maybe a little bit more, just over there. Let's go back to left hand view just to make sure it's perfect there and move it outwards I still need I need it to come out in the middle as well which is why I'm stopping again let's see that's not the correct part of it I need the ones over there okay I selected those verts and I can bring it out Turn off soft selection now. It's turned on, but make it super, super small area. And we can get the exact effect. There we go. It even gave us that little rounding we need. Okay, back to normal mode. So now we just need to get the selection in line with where we want that hairband to be. I think this is going to be. It's a little bit too far out. So let me just select that and push it in slightly make the soft selection slightly wider for this and that's still the top view so that's perfect gonna move it into there okay so what we need to do if I want it more round I can now select the ones on the side I did this on my own model as well and just shove that back in a little okay the soft selection is too aggressive let's just turn that to one push that in a little maybe make the soft selection two so we get a little bit of a gradual fall off. That's up to you. You can fiddle with these. It's not, not essential. But once you've got them set up in a way that you like, you can go to your polygon selection. And you simply select this whole row. And we use the extrude tool that we used earlier to get a little bit of a... Um, okay, like that is way too much let's just make it like 0 0.3 and once again this depends on your model okay so we've got that extruding it's not perfect we'll have to bring it in again on this side but it does work let's go select those ones and then just push those into the head of it and there we go and when we do the mapping we'll isolate those and give them a different color there we go, not bad. That's pretty much Blossom done. We're next, we're going to have to do mapping for her, but first we'll discuss how to do the hair for the other Powerpuff Girls. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, tell us what you think, click the like button below. Otherwise, you can send us 
follow us and send us messages on our Facebook pages. We've got two of them, our Twitter, the Instagram, the YouTube channel, or our traditional websites if you like that kind of thing. This video is awesome. PeachyDragon.com Happy creative stuff.